The threats to global health and the health of the American people are evolving. The world has become more disordered and more dangerous, and those dangerous places are exactly where outbreaks are occurring. Amid expanding violence and conflict, we have seen a rise in the deliberate targeting of healthcare providers. The ongoing Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of the Congo illustrates both of these stark realities. Antimicrobial resistance is spreading, threatening modern medicine as we know it. Social media is facilitating the rapid dissemination of misinformation that is eroding the public's trust in vaccinations. Infectious disease outbreaks are increasingly common and increasingly costly. Health security is national security. Lives hang in the balance. Yet the United States is stuck in a cycle of crisis and complacency. When a crisis hits, U.S. policymakers rush to pull together resources to respond. When the crisis fades from the headlines, policymakers grow complacent and all too often fail to invest in preparedness. Health security is a smart investment. The cost of baseline preparedness is about $1 per person per year compared to billions in the response to crises. As health security threats proliferate, the choice is clear. The U.S. will either pay now or pay much more later. The U.S. can and must step outside our current cycle of crisis and complacency. The CSIS Commission on Strengthening America's Health Security proposes a new U.S. doctrine of continuous prevention, protection, and resilience. The Commission urges policymakers and the administration to take action in seven core areas. Restore health security leadership at the White House National Security Council. Commit to full and sustained multi-year funding for the global health security agenda to build partner capacity. Establish a pandemic preparedness challenge at the World Bank to incentivize countries to invest in their own preparedness. Ensure rapid access to resources for health emergencies. Establish a U.S. Global Health Crisis Response Corps. Strengthen the delivery of critical health services in disordered settings. Systematically confront two urgent technology challenges, the need for new vaccines and therapeutics, and the public health communications crisis. If the U.S. government acts to advance this doctrine, it can, once and for all, break the cycle of crisis and complacency. The time to act is now.